what's happening at crypto farm happy happy friday good morning and welcome back to look for crypto i'm scott it's a pleasure to have you here appreciate taking time out to consume the content so thank you got the day right today it's friday <laughs> apparently it said tuesday is today I, I thought i said thursday in my head i said thursday my mouth I thought it was tuesday anyway red alert Crypto campaign gathers support to amend the US infrastructure bill. The bill we spoke about the other day, that's got some extremely interesting terminology in it, we might add. Um, people have gathered to, to, to fight a, camp a campaign against it, and I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised one bit. It's a numerous. U.S. crypto advocates have launched an ambitious campaign aimed at driving up support for an amendment to a controversial infrastructure bill, claiming that the legislation would usher in sweeping surveillance of crypto holders. Now, everyone knows my stance on fucking surveillance, on tracking, on chipping people. I literally don't give a shit what happens to me. As long as it happens to the person at the top. I don't care what information Boris Johnson and the President of the United States can get on me. As long as I can get the same kind of information on that. Open and transparent. There's only certain things that should be private. For instance, only I should be able to access my medical records in the presence of a doctor. Or a doctor should ask my permission to get them basically. They're not, they're not, they're not the NHS's records. The fucking mine, and they should be mine. There comes a point where something should maybe be private, but at the end of the day, look, pff, if you, <laughs> there's stuff we need to know, basically. So, surveillance is a broad term, isn't it? It's a broad term. Tracking's a broad term. So, an updated version of the bill, which would seek to fund and enshrine billions of dollars worth of public spending commitments into law, has also been slated as unacceptable for the crypto sector. Fears remain high that the legislation would seek to squeeze up to 28 billion. Squeeze up to 28 billion from the crypto sector in the United States. The advocates are urging Twitter followers to back the amendment, launching a <laughs> launching a group of senators, the Senate Finance Committee Chairman Ron Wyden, as well as the Republican Senators Pat Toomer and the Bitcoin King Cynthia Loomis. The measure proposes an alternative crypto plan that would seek to force crypto exchanges and other players to relay data to the Internal Revenue Service, or the IRS, as they're better known. <clears throat> now, Coin Center, a crypto lobbying group, claimed that the amendment explicitly excludes validators, hardware and software, wallet makers and protocol developers from the expanded definition of a broker. The three senators' support is not enough, however, to ensure the amendment passes. The measure needs at least 60 votes if it is to be added to the bill. Crypto enthusiasts and industry players have rallied behind a tool posted on the Fight for Future website, warning that the bill could kill crypto if passed. The site offers to kill crypto. Did, right, let, there's no killing crypto. You mean kill the gains, kill the dreams. There's no killing crypto. It's going to be used in the future. It's digital money. It's going to be used in the future. We're going digital. Does, does it feel like we're going more analog? Wait the fuck up. We're going more digital. So, you ain't killing digital assets. You're just not. Now, Someone could argue, oh, we're not going to make as much money off them. Possibly. Possibly. I think people are jumping to certain terminology when they should maybe be saying another word. It's going to damage. The warning that the bill could damage crypto 
investors profit. Hell yeah. That the bill could take away some crypto investors' freedoms and privacy. Yeah. Kill crypto. The fuck made you right? right what made you use that kill? <clears throat> The blockchain and crypto consultant, Catherine Wu, called the tool a super easy process. However, the general counsel at Compound Labs, <clears throat> Jake Kaminsky, wrote that some people are reporting issues getting through to their senators using the link suggesting other forms of contact if this proved to be the case. He called on everyone to contact their senators now. Coinbase chief Brian Armstrong warned that the bill could have dire consequences if approved. He wrote that the bill would mean that almost anyone in the crypto ecosystem, miners, validators, smart contracts, open source developers, etc. could be treated as a broker, which would put massive reporting obligations on them. The measure he added would also force exchanges like Coinbase and others to surveil its customers transactions in a way that is more intrusive than the rest of traditional finance. His thoughts were echoed by Coinbase rival Kraken CEO Jesse Powell, who wrote that the amendment isn't going to pump itself. He claimed the process of using the tool to call his senators took him less than five minutes, but noted we clearly aren't hitting them hard enough. Get it done. All right. The A16Z general partner, Catherine Huan, meanwhile wrote that her firm had written to Chuck Schumer, the New York senator and Senate majority leader, as well as the Senate Republican leader, Mitch McConnell, in support of the amendment. A proper regulatory, <laughs> a proper regulatory strategy needs to reflect one important factor. Crypto is not a monolith. The crypto universe extends far beyond, its, far beyond its financial origins, encompassing artwork, community development, and new ways of forming organisations. Adding that we can afford to sacrifice tomorrow's economic opportunity because of a flawed bill that has a simple fix. We can't afford to sacrifice tomorrow's economy, economic opportunity because of a flawed bill that has a simple fix. Collins Belton, the managing partner of legal firm Brookwood, claimed that he was hoping everyone has had the chance to raise their voices would back the campaign. I know for a lot of us that traditional lobbying isn't something for comfort, but it helps to come out in force and ensure that our representatives fight for our interests too. <laughs> It is extremely interesting. Let's have a gun. What's this tool? All this stuff's hyperlinked in the article. So get in the description. Open the article. Have a little scan yourself. Follow some hyperlinks. Let me know what you think. Especially if you're in America. Excuse me. <clears throat> Red alert. The Senate is about to vote on a bill that could kill crypto, that could damage crypto investors. I don't even know if that's the right terminology because. Fuck no. Use this form to call your senator now. Call your lawmakers. We provide you with a suggestion of what to say and connect you directly with your lawmaker's office. This is a red alert, a provision that's so poorly written, it could crush the cryptocurrency ecosystem and dramatically expand US government surveillance. Has been added. Surveillance has been added to the must pass. Bipartisan infrastructure package at the last minute. Fortunately, 
Senators has widened to me and Loomis have introduced an amendment that would fix the language and clarify that it, 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 the expansion of the definition of a broker doesn't apply to open source software developers or validators like miners or stakers. Isn't it interesting that the article didn't mention any of that shit? I'm getting fucking sick and tired of people bending the fucking truth. They need the they need a smack in the mouth, mate. They need to seriously. You just walk up to me, just like, did you write that, mate? Did you write that? Yeah, yeah. And 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 you think it's honest, fair, and with all the information in it? And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all burn right in his face. What, what was that for? I was being a dick. Now do you still think that? Do you still think it? You're still gonna write it? You're still gonna write it, mate? And then look around the nose, like, anyone else want to write the way he writes? While well, this guy's like, covered in fucking blood. That's what needs to be done in, you know, in offices of journalists like this prick. Fuck, he don't want that to be his face. That, really, that actually, like, is ringing a little bit. I got carried away then. I got proper carried away then. I'll be hand, mate. <laughs> Introduce yourself and be like, I'm calling to ask that you support something. Wait, what the fuck is that? I'm calling to ask. Let me read it in my head first. I'm calling to ask why you support Senator Wyden. Hi. So is this is I think this is an example of what to say. Introduce yourself. <laughs> it doesn't say example. It just says introduce yourself. Be polite and say this. Hi. I'm calling to ask that you support Senator Wyden, Toomey and Loomis's amendment to the cryptocurrency provision of the infrastructure bill. This amendment will ensure that the provision does not dramatically expand financial surveillance, harm innovation or undermine human rights, policies that impact basic freedom and the future of the internet should be debated carefully and should never be attached to must pass bills. Thank you. Interesting. Let's back it up. Where's the amendment hyperlink? There we go. Oh, open with drive. Ooh. Open it with your drive, lad. Okay, okay. So we've got... So it's giving the amendments of the actual bill. And I swear... Me... Me, nearly two and a half thousand pages, possibly more, up to and potentially more than that. That the amendment's three pages, but amendment intended to be proposed by Wyden. Blah blah blah. There's a list of ten things, and then there's a list of one to twenty-five things, and there's a list of one to six things. The first thing, on page, on page 2437, strike lines 9 through 21, and insert the following. Definition of a broker. Nothing in this section or the amendments made by this section shall be constructed or construed, sorry. Shall be construed to create any <laughs> any inference that a person described in section 6045E1 D of the Internal Revenue Code of 1986. <laughs> to basically the amendment that the legitimately like
So you will not be a broker for validating distributed ledger transactions. You will not be a broker for selling hardware or software for which the sole function is to permit the, a, a person to control private keys which are used for accessing digital assets on the distributed ledger or developing digital assets or their corresponding protocols for use by other persons. Brokers and treatment of digital assets, nothing in this section, all the amendments made by this section can, shall be construed to create inference for any period prior to the effective date of such amendments with respect to whether any person is a broker under section 6045E1 of the Internal Revenue Code of 1986. It does not point out that that's only two years younger than me. That's why I... I think crypto law should be new. I think amendments to tax laws on crypto should be new. I don't think you should be looking back to anything pre 1986. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be looking back anything pre 2008. This is brand new shit. You should be writing brand new shit for. I don't care how close it comes to traditional and legacy systems and finance. Fucking redo it from scratch. It's brand fucking new. But that's just how I feel. So, who the fuck am I? It's interesting that they've put whether any digital asset is a property which is specified, which is a specified security. So you've got like some American lords and judges wanting to wanting to define crypto as property, which means it'll be great. You'll pay capital gains on it. You'll do this. You'll do that. You'll be like, Ugh. it is. You'll have asset swap. So, if you swapped a £200,000 house, you wanted a big, you had a 200 grand house, you wanted a bigger house, someone's got a 300 grand house, they want a smaller house, and you knew them, and you was all right with them, and they was willing to just swap. You're paying tax on that. You've not realised any revenue. You've not traded it for any currency. <laughs> You've not made income tax. You haven't made income off it. You haven't made capital off it. You've gained value off it, net worth. But there's nothing to pay tax on, is there? It's an asset swap. So why the hell are people not thinking about that with crypto? If crypto is deemed property, which in the UK it looks like it's going to be, only when you sell it will you pay tax on it. Now, I've said plenty of times, haven't I? If you're going to swap through ILP and at any point it flips it for Great British Pounds, they could capture that transaction and be like, look, I understand that you feel you didn't trade for pounds and you didn't use GBP, but you sent XRP or ADOT to this in a ledger protocol, flipped it into a GBP, and Amazon received GBP. They didn't receive your XRP. It was a multi-step, a multi-hop transaction. That's where it gets a little trickier. Tom and Dave on the street swapping XRP for ADA. Fucking gone. XRP went from one wallet to another. Ada went from one wallet to another. Swap's done. Through ILP or any protocol touching fiat and CBDC currency, peg currency, stable currency, anything that's a fucking currency, not a digital asset, a currency, not property, you can't asset swap currency. You're buying something, you're purchasing it. It's extremely interesting how it's going to play out and people need to be patient. So, on that note, be patient. Invest in yourself, invest in the internet of value, live long and orderly. all till you bite the dust, mate. Stake it, bake it. Till you make it to heaven. Pass your keys on. And next family member goes again. Let's, let's, let's get there, guys. Let's 
build a little pot on the side that ends up a gigantic pot that's feeding you with rewards. Feed the beast till it feeds you. We love crypto. That we, we actually like that bill amendment. I'm, 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 I'm liking what I hear a little bit in there. Um, better than what I fucking read the other day, anyway. <laughs> Have a read yourself, let me know. Uh, we love you. So take care of yourselves. Yeah, wishing health and happiness to you and yours. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.